In this lesson, we will look at a set of interesting features known as readability tests. These tests are used to determine the readability of a particular passage. In other words, it indicates at what educational level a person needs to be in in order to comprehend a particular piece of text. The scale usually ranges from primary school up to college graduate level and is in context of the American education system. Readability tests are done using a mathematical formula that utilizes the word, syllable, and sentence count of the passage. They are routinely used by organizations to determine how easy their publications are to understand. They have also found applications in domains such as fake news and opinion spam detection. There are a variety of readability tests in use. Some of the common ones include the flesh reading ease, the gunning fog index, the simple measure of gobbledygook or smog, and the Dale Shall score. Note that these tests are used for texts in English. Tests for other languages also exist that take into consideration the nuances of that particular language. For the sake of brevity, we will cover only the first two scores in detail. However, once you understand them, you will be in a good position to understand and use the other scores too. The flesh reading ease is one of the oldest and most widely used readability tests. The score is based on two ideas. The first is that greater the average sentence length, harder the text is to read. Consider these two sentences. The first is easier to follow than the second. The second is that the greater the number of average number of syllables in a word, the harder the text is to read. Therefore, I live in my home is considered easier to read than I reside in my domicile on account of its usage of lesser syllables per word. The higher the flesh reading ease score, the greater is the readability. Therefore, a higher score indicates that the text is easier to understand. This table shows how to interpret the flesh reading ease scores. A score above 90 would imply that the text is comprehensible to a fifth grader, whereas a score below 30 would imply that the text can only be understood by college graduates. The Gunning Fog Index was developed in 1954. Like flesh, this score is also dependent on the average sentence length. However, it uses percentage of complex words in place of average syllables to compute its score. Here, complex words refer to all words that have three or more syllables. Unlike flesh, the formula for Gunning Fog Index is such that the higher the score, the more difficult the passage is to understand. The index can, can be interpreted using this table. A score of 6 would indicate 6th grade reading difficulty, whereas a score of 17 would indicate college graduate level reading difficulty. We can conduct these readability tests in Python using the text statistic library. We import text statistic class from text statistic. Next, we create a text statistic object and pass in the passage or text we are evaluating. We then access the dictionary of readability scores from the text statistic object using the scores attribute and then store it in a variable named readability scores. Finally, we access the various scores from the readability scores dictionary using the corresponding keys as shown. In this example, the text that was passed is between the reading level of a college senior and that of a college graduate. Let's now practice computing readability scores using the text statistic library 